Hi there, everybody. You're traveling with me, Jack, and of course, as always, with my beautiful heavenly wife, Pam. And welcome to beautiful Augusta, Georgia. We're here just a few weeks after they've had the annual Masters Golf Tournament, one of the biggest sporting events in the world, and of course, it keeps Augusta on the map. Now, right behind me there, well, that's Augusta National. And yours truly was thinking, hey, I'll just roll in there. Maybe they'll let me take a couple of pictures of the course. No, that doesn't happen. They've got a guard there. You're not getting past that guard. He turns you around, says you can come across the street here to this beautiful park-like area. Take some photos from here. Now, you're not going to see a lot, but you still see people lining up along the sidewalk, getting that picture of at least just the entrance. Now, I will tell you, though, I did get a golf ball today from Augusta National. And it was found by this young man, Gary Graves. Gary's been around Augusta for over 80 years. And he comes out in this little park-like area every few days, and he'll pick up if there's any papers that are left lying about. And every now and then, he'll find a practice golf ball like the one he found today, and he gave yours truly. Yeah, so you have to wait till the, after it closes down, and they had the media week, and they knocked the balls over the fence. So I, I see them and I pick them up and give them to people passing through. And then if I have enough of them, I'll give them to them the Masters Week. Let them get them, kids, to the kids and let them get them signed. Maybe show the folks the ball you've got there in your hand now. Yeah, yeah this is uh, one of the practice balls with the uh, logo on it. Now, I need to mention across the street from Augusta National, this is Magnolia Drive that I'm just off of here. And you'll probably notice this is an empty lot. This is where Gary's mother's home used to be. Augusta National then bought the home. It was pretty old, Gary says. And he says, yeah, they paid me a good price. They tore it down, and this is now a parking area. In fact, Augusta National, from what I understand, has been buying up property all around this area. Now, it's kind of interesting, too. Take a look at that beautiful white columned home there. Very reminiscent of what the clubhouse at Augusta National looks like. Now, as for getting in the tournament, as I mentioned, well, that's probably one of the toughest tickets in the world to get. You basically have to be a legacy or on a long-term list of people ahead of you who may be related who have tickets. But Gary tells me that back in the day, it was pretty easy to get a ticket to see the Masters. Uh, uh, my uncle was superintendent over there. So uh, he, uh, he would give us uh, those paper tickets, those uh, complimentary tickets back then. So uh, we always, he'd always come over and give me about six or, six or a dozen of them. And, Go, go, go give them to your buddies. Tell them to come over here. They were just trying to get people to come to the tournament back in those days. Now, you may not be able to get on the course at Augusta National, but trust me, there's plenty of other things to see and do here in the beautiful city of Augusta, Georgia. Did I mention it's located right along the banks of the beautiful Savannah River, the downtown filled with history. There's lots of fun things to see and do here. So maybe put it on your to-do list to check out beautiful Augusta, Georgia. Until we do see you that next time, hey, keep subscribing to our channel. That, of course, is Traveling with Jack and Pam. I also invite you to check out our podcast Podcast. That, of course, is Love Letters to Pam, the Jack Church Show. Until that next time, you know what we always say, make it a great day. Better yet, make it a better tomorrow. And bye now from Augusta, Georgia.